Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the 5 Minute Read Maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, would you go ahead and click subscribe? And that way, of course, you always know when I drop a new episode. And also, it makes it easier for other people to find my channel and learn things and become better read makers. Um, so it's a win for everybody. Thank you. Today I wanted to talk about the crow. We all know that the crow of the oboe is supposed to be those that two octave C uh, crow. And, but I've been having a lot of conversations about that crow recently in my Zero to Read Maker group. Um, because sometimes it's not easy to get a crow and sometimes it's not obvious why your read isn't crowing. And sometimes like you get to feeling a little guilty about the whole, why is my read not crowing a C thing? So I thought I would grab just a couple of quick examples of day one reads that I'm intending to turn into day two reads and why they don't crow in the way that I would expect them to crow. Here, for example, is one that uh, does like, it goes like this. It's got a nice beep, but, but it doesn't really want to crow until I put some real muscle behind it. And when I really blow, I get that lower octave. Now, this tells me a lot, actually. Um, you, It is not the case that you necessarily just blow the same way every time and listen for what the crow gives you. In fact, sometimes I force the crow to happen by blowing harder, by smooshing the reed closed, by uh, manipulating the inside of my mouth. And then the feeling of what I had to do to make the crow happen tells me what I need to do to work on the reed. I had to push a little bit harder than I wanted to to make this read happen. So my thought is that I probably need to work in the heart a little bit and make sure that I've got the tip and the heart well balanced. Let's see. Okay, so here's my little read with my little plaque. And of course, what I see is that my tip is a ratty mess and that my heart actually has a ton of wood in it still, a ton of bark on the sides. And those are both issues that I need to fix. Um, because I've got a pretty easy beep, I'm not too unhappy with the tip, but I know I'm going to need to clip it back. And I will because my crow is, is low, but I want my crow to be easier is the first thing that I want here. So I'm just going to very gently, ever so gently, scrape over the heart, looking for, for it to be smooth and shiny all the way across. So I'm eliminating the bark on the side. And I'm just sort of gently dusting all of this stuff off. And I expect that now I will have made the crow easier. Now the crow comes very easily and it's very flat so I can clip. The crow is easy and still flat. And now the crow, I, can get it with a completely normal, natural amount of pressure. Um, it gives me the well-organized octaves. And it's still a little hair on the flat side, but this is a reed that, that can like move forward in my case and in my, in my efforts here. But I have this other reed here. which gives me like a crazy crow, a crow that I do not like. Um, and in this case, what I think is going on is just that the reed is so uh, long and crazy still. It's so out of proportion that that is what's making things nuts. I see, oh, look at that. I can distinctly see extra thickness over in this area that I didn't clean up. And just making sure that the tip slopes appropriately is probably going to organize my crow. Oh, look, thickness up here too. Um, making sure that my tip is sloped appropriately is probably going to organize my crow better. It's also the case that this day one read is 
nearly 72 millimeters long and it feels it looks like half of that is tip right and I'm exaggerating of course but the tip is super long compared to the structure of the rest of the reed and really what I'm going to do at this moment um, before I even worry about the crow is just make this reed look more like a reed. Now I never clip my reeds to length I clip them to function but um, this reed doesn't have the function it needs to have yet. So tiny bit of work at the sides of the tip because I can see visually that that's going to need to happen. Um, I see windows on this side, but not on this side because apparently last night when I was making these, I was not totally paying attention to what I was doing. So I've just sort of thrown a little bit more structure and symmetry into this reed so it looks more like I expect a reed to look. It's still super long. I may have lost the crow altogether, but that's okay because I'm going to clip. It's not a great crow, but it, did you hear how much more organized it got right away when I put the slope in place? Clipping quite a lot. And now... And now I've got a crow, again, that uh, came up to pitch and is well organized. In both of these cases, what I did was I took my reed, I made a judgment about what it needed based on the crow I was able to achieve by blowing and how much work it was for me to get that crow. I scraped the reed to look a little bit more like an oboe reed and to take care of the uh, challenges that I had identified. And uh, then I had my crow. But here's another thing to think about. What if not every reed actually had to crow? What if it was okay that... What if it was okay that a reed that played well and felt good to you didn't actually have a crow? Because after all, we don't play a reed from crowing position. We only play a reed from uh, playing position from the tip. Um, ultimately, the goal is to have a good read. So I've definitely had people come through my Zero to Read Maker program who struggled to get a read to crow, but absolutely did get a read to play and to play well and to play the way they wanted it to play. That's a win. The read doesn't have to crow to play. I hope that this has been a little bit helpful. This has been a five minute read maker lesson. You can follow these short videos here on YouTube and subscribe if you wish. Uh, and if you would like to reach me to order Reeds or Cane or to ask me a question that I might be able to answer in a future five minute read maker video, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.